Hello guys, this is Thomas from Interference and today I'm gonna show you how to get a better crunch in your kick. Uh, this is the end result. Um, yeah, let's start first. As first you just get a, a decent kick sample. I took this one. My own kick. But yeah, as you can hear, it's lacking some good crunch and lack some power as well. So, what what I did is yeah I I made a bunch of layers here. Um, first a sub layer with a quick saturation of also in wave shaper. Uh, then a, a weird high cut. Yeah, this is just an annoying frequency I got rid of, I think. Then, yeah, set the look at like this 100 or somewhere between 100 and 200 hertz. Just play around with it. Um, then we have the original kick sample, or at least the tail of the original kick sample. And let's set up like this with a high cut around or yeah around the frequencies where we did the low cut but a little further so the sub subs don't clash. Uh then I boost the free fundamental frequency here, some uh highs here. Uh then we have the crunch layer, this did this one. Um that's that's where the magic happens. We put a wave shaper, fruity wave shaper on it uh, with the half wave rectify preset. Then, yeah, I'll show you what it sounds like. Mix on, it sounds like that. This, it's terrible, it sounds like a fart. <laughs> so, we're gonna put it back. At about 50 to 60 percent and then it sounds like this still not very good but when you layer it you will hear it and uh, then we have this eq yeah i just boosted some of the fundamental frequencies in my kick did a low cut here Nothing special, you gotta experiment with this yourself because it totally completely depends on your kick. Uh, then, yeah, then we have this volume automation. I'm not sure why I did this, <laughs> I think it's unnecessary. Um, yeah, then I did the little thing with the punch just to make it a little more powerful i did a i put a pogo on it stretch it a little pitch it down now it sounds like that whoa very nice uh <laughs> yeah well yeah and then the complete package it sounds like this um if you're as these two are fading. Oh yeah, don't forget to lower the volume on the original sample. Um, if the two are fading, just just try to try to shift away from a little like this. Just yeah, just give it a try. See what gives the best result and um, yeah then yeah that, that's it basically <laughs> now we can of course record it in Edison it's a weird waveform put this over here and then 
Yeah, I didn't slap the limiter on it because yeah, you want you want to limit it like that. And yeah, then just record it again and save it and yeah, th yeah, that's it basically. I can loop it and play around with it. That's it. Fine with me. Oh yeah, then this new plugin Memble Kick, very useful. We can Yeah wait wait a second. I'm gonna pitch it real quick for you guys and Let's locate a sample. Put it in here. Keep doing this. Yeah, and then I don't have my keyboard here, but like. Which is really good. Oh, it's stretched until stretched. Sorry, just like one hundred percent. Oh, I love that crunch. And then you just can use some, not too much, just a bit of distortion to. Oh, this note. This note is uh, cool. Yeah, well, that's it, basically. Um, I hope it was useful. Um, if you want me to do more tutorials like this, just hit me up.